Good morning, folks. Good morning, Knife Brotherhood. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day so far. Uh, let me get my knife apes situated. But So, today is Thankful Thursday. I hadn't done one in a few weeks. And uh, I actually watched Singing Toad this morning with his Thankful Thursday. So, I got a lot to be thankful for. And... and so I wanted to do a I wanted to do a video on Thankful Thursday. Uh, that's a great, by the way, that's a that's a great great open tag. Thankful Thursday, simple, simple, something we can all get behind. But so today, uh, and I hope I hope the Knife Brotherhood's doing great. I uh, hope everybody's good. And the first thing I want to do is I want to thank all of the knife guys, all the knife brotherhood. Uh, I want to thank the guys that send me stuff. I want to thank the guys that, that, uh, request the knife brotherhood decals. You request them. I'm going to send them to you. It might take me a few days, you know, to get everything, you know, we have to exchange addresses and all, but you know, I'm thankful that people, are interested in, in, in the Knife Brotherhood and interested in some decals I made, you know, had made, but, uh, you know, and I think the Knife Brotherhood, excuse me, I'm gonna get me a little sip of coffee. This is a mug that my daughter made out of clay, so I, I use it a lot. So I just wanna, I just wanna, you know, thank everybody. I mean, y'all know who you are. We're all, we all know each other. I talk, I text guys and I talk to them and by phone and so you know I'm going to uh, Rochdale I think that's how you pronounce it, Indiana for the first case knife event June the first and hopefully Big J and J O and a few others are going to be there so uh, so yeah gonna gonna get to meet them face to face I think it'll be a good time we're gonna we're gonna make an eight hour trip. I think it'll be a nice little road trip. So anyway, today is Thankful Thursday, and I have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, I worked, you know, I worked, including contracting for a power company. I, I worked 41 years in that industry, and the industry, you know, was good to me. Uh, and uh, my original, my original, thing when I got out of high school that I wanted to do was join the Marines and I've told this story before and my mother my mother just she just didn't want me to do it and she was upset and you know crying and you know and so you know I don't think there's very many men out there that want their moms to be upset so I, I didn't I didn't I didn't join I had already started working. I started working as soon as I graduated from high school. No college or nothing. Uh, so I got, I got, uh, you know, I got started working, and I went down and talked to recruiters. So, so anyways, I worked and I got on worked at AT and T for a little while. And got laid off, and, and then uh, power power company hired me and. and so I made a career out of that. It was good to me. So I'm thankful for that. But I want to, I'm going today to take my uh, father-in-law, which was a U.S. Marine. He was a U.S. Marine. Uh, we're going up to a veterans thing here in Rome. I'm going to take him up there. I'm going to walk around with him for a little bit and, and then uh, take him back home. But just, you know, and my dad, my dad was a, Korean veteran, he was actually a combat veteran, you know, and he's 90, he'll be 92 his next birthday, and, and I think about, you know, <laughs> I think about these guys, man, I, I think about that generation, and, and here I am, here I am, I'm sitting in this house, you know, I've worked hard all my life, and I'm sitting in this house, you know, and, and I, I, I've I've got it made. I've got it made in this country, United States of America. I got it made, but I, 
I think about I think about these guys like my daddy and my daddy-in-law and other veterans I've known over the years, you know, and I think about them. It's like almost, it's almost like, you know, and I know there's some veterans out there on, on, on our knife brotherhood, but, you know, it's almost like now they're, they're just not important. I mean, we, we got people in this country that basically are, are, spray paint in world war and i'm gonna get on i'm gonna get on a rant i don't care i'm gonna get on a rant but i i, I you know spray paint in a world war one monument they, they they spray paint in a world war one monument or spray paint in another veterans monument or george washington and and we got people coming over here illegally that's getting benefits that's getting benefits handed to them debit cards, money, cash money, getting insurance that we, the taxpayers, have to pay for. So then I, I step back and I look at I look at somebody like my dad, my daddy, that risked his life for this country. My daddy in law that joined the Marines was a Marine. He's still a Marine. He's still a Marine. He wears it proudly and that's great. But I look at the way our veterans are treated now, and it, you know, and I'm I'm so thankful for the people that served. You know, we all we all serve the country, and it's like my wife told me this morning. You know, I was telling her about my dad in law, and I feel guilty sometimes. She goes, "Well, you went to work. You went to work when you were 18. You you worked your whole life. You've worked hard your whole life, and that is a true statement. But and a lot of us have. A lot of you." you knife guys out there. But it, it does anger me that I, I see my daddy's generation and my daddy-in-law's generation just the way they're treated. I'm not saying everybody treats them bad, but our veterans just aren't treated right. They, our government doesn't treat them good. They, they treat illegal people coming over here or people from other countries or people that get paid to protest better than they treat our veterans, you know. And and that, that's all I'm going to say about all that. But but I'm thankful. I am thankful that we've had men and women serve our country and, and actually combat. My first cousin, which he passed away, uh, he, I think he was six years older than me. He was a Vietnam veteran. And, you know, he'd tell me stories and he came back and, you know, uh, just to tell you things about what went on over there. And I knew a lot of veterans. I knew I knew a tunnel rat. I worked with a tunnel rat in Vietnam. And so you, you came up, you know, you come up with these guys. And our freedoms, man, our freedoms are like, our freedoms are dependent on people in the military, you know, and I, I don't even know how our military is now. I know I know some military guys, some younger guys. I actually know a sniper, a guy that was a sniper, you know, and he's pretty impressive. But I, I I'm I'm thankful. I'm thankful for anybody out there that served in the military. And I know there's some of you knife guys, some of you knife brotherhood guys that's probably served in the military. And I just want to tell you. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for y'all. Y'all, uh, uh, y'all, y'all sacrificed. Uh, yeah, you might not have went to war, but you still joined the military and served your country. So, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for y'all for what y'all for what y'all do and and what y'all done. And you know, I just look at my daddy and my my daddy in law what they did. And it, it hurts my heart sometimes, you know, but but that that's a great generation. That's a great, I mean, that's a great generation. Uh, and we got to, we got to remember them. We can't never let them, and, and, and it's worth us, uh, whatever we got to do, whether it's our voting or, or getting involved, whatever we need to do, we've got to do the right things. Uh, because they fought hard for this country. They've done things for this country. My daddy, my daddy, 
you know, he 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 fought hard. He he fought combat in Korea. His hearing's just about gone because of it. My daddy-in-law's hearing's gone. He has to wear hearing aids because of because of you know shooting and 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 shooting artillery and doing all this stuff. And so you know they paid a price, you know. Uh, and you know, and I'm trying not to get too long here, but I get I get on this rant here, and you know. But we we got to we got to look this, and I've said this before. I, I'm not going to get political, but we're we're in a bad place in this country. We're we're on the verge. We're on the verge of losing this country. We we really are. We're we're on the verge of losing the country that I grew up in, and it worries me because I've got seven grandkids. I know I'm pretty and I look young, but I do have seven grandkids, and I'm just kidding about that. But I know a lot of you guys got grandkids or kids. I got children, you know, and, and I want them to grow up in a strong, prosperous America, the America I grew up in. Now, we've always had, we've always had problems in this country. We've always had them. We've always had to fight for everything we've got, you know, and, and, in my 20s, you know, went through the Cold War, you know, and, and all that stuff. And, and, you know, we had the World War Three talk back then, went through, you know, we, we've had a lot of stuff, you know, Y2K, and, and which that was a big farce. 9-11, uh, I lost my best friend in that first tower in New York in 9-11. My best friend that I grew up with, I lost him. And I was so mad. I was so mad, I went down like a moron, and I didn't tell my wife to join the Marines to go fight, and they wouldn't let me because I was, they said I was too old. They wouldn't take me. I missed it by a year. I guess that's true. I don't know, but the recruiter just kind of smiled at me. Said he appreciated it, but I'm, I'm too old, and I was too old, so I don't know, you know, but anyway... Maybe that's BS, I don't know, but, you know, so so that was a rash decision that I made and I shouldn't have. Miss Linda got kind of mad at me, but, uh, because I didn't tell her about it. I was just going to do it, but, you know, we got to, we got to make sure we, we, we never give up. We never give up on this country, because I am thankful. I am thankful. My thankful Thursday, too, is about growing up and living in the greatest country, the greatest country there's ever been. I grew up in the greatest country and I'm still living in the greatest country. Even though we have all these problems, this is still the greatest country in the world and it's been blessed by the God Almighty. God has blessed this country and I'm gonna leave it at that. That's my thankful Thursday. Thankful for all you knife guys too. God bless y'all. So I'm gonna show you what I'm carrying today. I'm carrying my $80 bench made that I paid $100 for. I'm just picking, I know I get some people mad about that, but anyway, it's a good knife, but they are definitely overpriced. So good good knife. Carrying this, carrying this uh, uh, 1095 Carbon XX full-size trapper. It's got brown burlap micarta. Love this thing. This is my favorite trapper of all time. And I care of this. And I made this sheath yesterday, or day before yesterday. And I messed up on it. You can see how the sewing, I messed up on the sewing, on the stamping the hole. So I wasn't going to sell this one because I'm real picky about what I sell. So there's nothing really wrong with the with the performance or or the you know sheath itself, except I just didn't like the way that sewing looked, so I wasn't. But I'm making some more of these. I've made some more of them, so I'm on. I'm trying to get my leather built up for my Etsy shop, and I'm gonna do some shows. But so this is just a little. <clears throat> this is just a little scout carry. And it's, you know, from any trapper or trapper or soddy or copper lock, copper head, whatever. 
uh, and you can probably fit maybe a, a, a 75 with some thinner bone in it. Uh, but so I made that. It's a it's a it's actually a green dye that I mixed up. I call it OD. I actually mixed a couple of colors. So, anyways, got that. I got this chestnut bone soddy. I missed out on a chestnut bone the other day, but I do know where there's one in the case, and it's at Johnny's, and I'm going to Johnny's today. And if it's still there, I'm gonna talk to Mr. Johnny, Mr. Rick. But yeah, love this bone, great bone. They're hard to find. Mr. Richter got him one the other day. Uh, got this EDC pocket organizer. And I make these and I've been carrying this one for a while. That's the very first piece of leather that I put blue thread in. So got an ink pen, got a polka pen, and I got this uh, uh, Olight 3E EOS. And these are great lights, man. These are great little lights. This thing's bright. And this thing will get you, you know, get you out of some issues if you need a light and you ain't got one. So good thing to, good thing to, and I'm carrying my notebook and pen. And I have to keep this notebook because I write down who I've got to send stickers to, leather to, and all that good stuff. I got a bigger book that I write down in my, from my leather shop, but people that want me to. So I'm gonna send hunting, hunting for hookers. He did a video about getting a box together of leather from the leather makers, all the leather makers. So I'm gonna send him a slip. He's got to send me his address. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I've, 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 I have to, I do it on my phone, but you know, I still like to carry my little pad and jot stuff down as I get it. And these little logging jotters work good or whatever your brand is. So anyway, I'm sorry. I got on a little rant, but I get like that. Sometimes I get frustrated and, uh, I just love my country, man, but y'all have a great day. God bless you. Y'all, y'all keep your keep your head on a swivel and keep your blade sharp. I'll see you on the next one.